Hey there, I'm Sean from ARRI and this is video number one in a series of videos looking at the ARRI reference tool. The ARRI reference tool, or ART for short, was released alongside the Alexa 35 and we took the opportunity of releasing a new piece of software to kind of incorporate all of the features that we used to have in three separate tools. So if you're familiar with the ARRI RAW converter or the ARRI color tool or the ARRI meta extract tool, well, you'll find all of that functionality now within one nice and simple software tool called ART. There are four different rooms inside ART which loosely separate the features that you can do within the product. So the browse room is the first room that you'll find and that's where you can import clips and create bins and sequences of clips. In the view room, that's where you can play back all of your footage and do some QC and it's also where you can adjust the ARRI RAW parameters if you have footage that was shot in ARRI RAW. So that would be you know, adjusting your exposure index or changing the white balance of the clip. The next room is the look room and that's where you can craft your own looks and you can do that in a number of ways. You can go straight in and adjust the CDL values to create a look or you could work with one of the ARRI look library looks that are built into art or you can import LUTs from a number of different third-party grading tools into the ARRI reference tool to then create ALF2 or ALF4 files that you can then import into all of our digital cameras. The last room is the render room and that's where you can export any clips that you have inside the reference tool into a number of widely used you know, post-production formats. How do you get art? Well, art is available to download for free from the ARRI.com website. Just head over to the learn and help section and then the software and tools section where you'll find a link to the ARRI reference tool webpage. I'd highly recommend reading the release notes as well as that will just let you know what has changed since the last time you might have downloaded and used art. So this is going to be four videos. Check out the other ones as well when you finish watching this one as I'm going to separate this all into kind of the four main sections of art. And this one is starting with the browse room. When you open the ARRI reference tool, you'll be greeted by the browse room. This is the place for organizing your project, creating bins, sequences, and adding clips into your project. On the left hand side, you'll find the file system tree, which shows a filtered version of your computer's file system. We don't show you all the files on your computer, just folders, ARRI RAW files and ProRes files to make it easier to find the files that you need for your project. On the right hand side, there is the project files area where you can set up your project structure consisting of bins, sequences and clips. One nice feature about the ARRI reference tool is that it's not possible to delete clips from your hard drive. You're able to remove clips from projects and bins, but you'll only ever be removing the reference to a particular clip and will always be able to find it again in the file system tree. To make it easier to find clips in the file system, you can set your own home directory. Go to the main menu and open the preferences menu. In the browser and display tab, you can change the default home directory which will be applied as soon as you press the OK button and first activated the next time that you start ART. The file system and the project files tree have two different viewing modes. The list mode is activated by default. As soon as you click on a clip, a preview of this clip is shown at the bottom of the list along with some metadata. Alternatively, you can go into preview mode, which will show a thumbnail alongside each clip. You can toggle between list mode and preview mode separately for each of the file system and project files windows. By default, when you drag a folder from the file system area to the project files area, it will use the folder structure to create bins. This is useful if you'd like to have the same structure in your project as the storage device does. It will work for single folders and their subfolders, but it also works when you select multiple folders. There's just one exception, when you drag a folder from the file system tree into a sequence of the project files tree, the folders are not mapped into bins and only the clips are added to the sequence. This is because sequences only consist of clips and can't be nested. If you want to copy only the clips of a folder and its subfolders without the folder structure that they have in the file system, you can hold down the shift key while dragging the folders into the project files tree destination. 
If you double click on a clip in the file system tree, this clip is copied to the selected destination in the project files tree. Let me quickly demonstrate that. I've created a bin in the project files tree, selected this bin, and I can double click on some files in the file system tree to import them. Instead of using a mouse, you can also copy clips by pressing Alt and Enter at the same time to copy selected clips or folders into the project files tree. Sometimes it's necessary to open the folder of the clip you can see in art with your computer's file system. In the file system tree, you can right click on a folder or a clip and select show in Explorer or reveal in Finder. The clip will be shown in the file system of your computer. In the project files tree, this function is only available for clips, not for bins. To make it easier to find clips in deeply nested folder structures, you can hold down the Alt key and double click on a folder or right click and select refresh and open to open all of the subfolders and show the clips inside. This is also very handy if you want to gain an overview of the footage of an entire project because it also works in the project files tree. All right, that brings us to the end of part one. The next section will be on the view room. If you have any questions, please chuck them in the comment section down below, or you can email digitalworkflow at ari.de. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next one.